All right, I've taken out the five screws and the warranty plug to get to the fifth screw. Makes it easy if you had the right bit. This is a, uh, well, it's the right bit. It's got a tiny little hole in it which matches the tip of the screws. Um, I got it from somewhere, I think it was eBay. But uh, just a heads up, I know a thing or two about Roby. This is a 10 year old drill and a 10 year old battery. This poor drill has been seen some bloody damage, some drops, some spills. I love it. Hammer impact, <coughs> magnet, no dodgy light, metal front end. Don't know why they got rid of that. Anyway, so it's undone. Give it a wiggle and a shake, and just you can get it undone, but I'll need two hands. So uh, hang on, I'll be back. All right, with a bit of a crack, you can crack the top off. Don't snap it off, just sort of crack the lid until you can wiggle it free. There you go, it's the top out. Try not to dislodge the buttons because they shoot straight up and then it's pain in the ass to get them back in. So try not to touch the buttons so they don't fall out. Now the little metal plate on top is the thing I was talking about. This is non-conductive. And it fell out when I did it the first time because I wasn't holding it vertical. Um, but yeah, it just sits on top when you put the thing back together. It's not hard. I'm going to put it back in there though. Um, so yeah, for the battery, I did normal probey things with a pair of multimeters that checked around and I found out that all the cells were at 4 volt and I was like well, why this is this not working I thought it was odd and then I saw on one side over here just next to these diodes that there was a bit of charring I was like oh the diode I don't know and anyway I checked it I was getting voltage on both sides of both of them so then I had a look down Ooh, almost lost the buttons see it's carefully grabbed it like that and the buttons went straight up the battery stayed anyway down in, under here these terminals across here there's um transistors i don't know i'm no technician can't get a light in there hang on you can just see the legs of them they're soldered to the board anyway i was probing and probing and probing i got around to this side i was probing this side testing all the pads and things checking for voltage and then I got around here and I was like, oh, I wonder. I switched my multimeter over to uh, resistance check. Like, well, hang on, we'll do a voltage check to show you. I need two hands, hang on. I'll put you on the mount. All right, we'll do a voltage check. Cross top, we get nothing. Nothing there at all, because for some reason the BMS is asleep. So I was test testing across here, um, I got it right, ground, positive, 17 volt, okay, so this one's not full, but it's registering its voltage, so we go across the cells one at a time, what we get here, 3.4, 3.4, bet you everything balances, 3.4, 3.4, Well, give me a reading. 3.4. 3.4. Okay, everything balances. So, what's the problem? I don't know. So what I did, for some silly reason, I don't know why, I'm no electrician, no sparky, no technician at all. I decided to run me, me um, resistance probes across these diodes, and then I heard a click. Where's the first diode? Here we go, we go. The last diode. Across there, oh, I'm the probes, fuck it. Cheap ass bloody thing. Ten dollar multimeter. I was getting a reading on there, but it wasn't consistent. And then I checked across here, nothing. And then I heard a click. I was like, what's that? And I test the voltage. Oh, look at that, it's awake. Well, that's a wrong setting. We'll go over here. And look, the battery's back alive. That's how simple it is. I just touched it with a resistance check and uh, the battery's back alive again. So now I'll put that on there. Slide this back into the position. This little guy happy. Probably not. So I'll just paint the bum. Alright, we'll do it the hard way. Drop this back in the middle. Try not to disturb your buttons. Slide that back together. Click. Spin around, push the sink. Oh, look at that! It's working! Now I can put it back in the charger. After I screw it back together, job done. How long was that video? Uh, not very long. 